This video will show how to read the oscilloscope's display area and use the different controls. I have connected two signals from the signal generator to the oscilloscope. This is the display area, which contains the details about the waveform and the control settings. A 50 Hz sinusoidal wave with an amplitude of 1 volt is connected to channel 1. A 100 Hz square wave with amplitude of 2 volts is connected to channel 2. The vertical axis represents voltage and the horizontal axis represents time. The markers on the left show the ground reference points of the displayed waveforms. No marker indicates the channel is not displayed. Next we have the horizontal trigger position. This can be adjusted using the horizontal position knob. This value shows the time difference between the center line and the horizontal trigger position. The marker on the right shows the trigger level. The vertical position can be adjusted using the trigger controls. At the bottom we have the numerical value of the trigger level. This icon shows the selected trigger type. In this case, it is selected to trigger on a rising edge. This value shows which source is used for triggering. In this case, it is channel 1. This is the main time base setting. This value determines the time of each small block on the horizontal axis. If it is set to 5 milliseconds, then each block represents 5 milliseconds. These values show the vertical scale factors of each channel. They represent the voltage of each small block on the vertical axis. The vertical scale of each channel can be different. Next, I'm going to explain the different controls on the oscilloscope. We will start with the vertical controls for channel 1 and channel 2. The rotating knob at the top will change the vertical position of channel 1 and channel 2. The button in the middle will toggle the channel on or off. It can also be used to display the properties of the selected channel. You can use the rotating knob at the bottom to select the vertical scale factors, that is, the voltage per division for each channel. The math function will be explained in a separate video. Next we have the horizontal controls. This rotating knob adjusts the horizontal position of all the channels, including the math waveforms. Next is the horizontal menu button. This will display the horizontal menu. The set to zero button will reset the horizontal position to zero. Use the rotating knob at the bottom to select the horizontal scale factor, that is, time per division. Next we have the trigger controls. At the top is the level knob form. When using the edge trigger, the level knob sets the amplitude level or voltage that the signal must cross to acquire a waveform. If the signal does not cross the trigger level, the displayed waveform will be unstable. Next we have the trigger menu. Currently the oscilloscope is triggering at a rising edge and is using channel 1 as a trigger source. The set to 50% button will automatically set the trigger amplitude level to the vertical midpoint between the peaks of the triggered signal. The force button will make an acquisition even if no valid trigger has been found. Finally it's important to note that the ground clips of each probe are electrically common with each other.